does subliner work with my array? I get a lot of questions like this. Does subliner work with gradient array? Does it work with infire? Does it work with arc? What about this, that, this? The answer is always yes, because it's so simple. Subliner works with any source because it is, it is sound design, it is sound system design agnostic. As long as you can define those sources by their distance, you can use Subliner. Now, I didn't make this up. I originally heard about this idea from Merlin Van Veen, and he calls it the relative absolute method. And we talked about it in a podcast, which I'll link to in the description for this video. But he didn't invent it. Manufacturers have been recommending this for years, and not just some obscure manufacturers that you've never heard of, the most uh, well-known one is probably L Acoustics. So I've got some manuals open here to show you really quickly. So if you open up the L Acoustics preset guide and you scroll down to the section called pre-alignment delay values, this is almost exactly, this is really my inspiration for Subaligner because we have below here just a bunch of pre-alignment values that then get added to the geometric distance offset, and that's your result. So L Acoustics recommends the relative absolute method. So Subliner and L Acoustics are both using the relative absolute method, but they just might call it something slightly different. So that's L Acoustics. Who else do we have? So if you open up the DMB line array design guide here, and then you go to the table of contents, and you go to the section on subwoofers, check it out. It shows up again, relative absolute method. And I hope this diagram here looks familiar to you because that's almost the exact same diagram we saw in the L Acoustics manual, okay? What else? Nexo manual for their amplifiers. By the way, this manual is really comprehensive. If you <clears throat> ever have a time to go through it, um, there's a lot of information in here. So there's an application note towards the end here about subwoofers. They basically say here that all of their speakers, if you use their amplifiers and their presets, all of their speakers should be good to go and ready to play together. It's then up to you as the user to insert any extra delay necessary because of any physical path differences. So again, relative absolute method. And let's see, I think I have one more, RCF. So here's the RCF pre-alignment delays, very similar now to the L Acoustics preset guide. We have this page here explaining how to do the relative absolute method, and then we'll have uh, pages and pages of pre-alignment delay values. It might also be helpful for me to point out that it's really uncommon to have, you know, different presets just because of a different system design. You know, we don't have a preset for the speaker just because it's close to the sub and then one when it's farther away and then one when it's even farther away. No, we just equalize that distance offset with delay or I don't know, some other tool. So in conclusion, sub aligner is going to work with any array in the same way that the relative absolute method works with any array and any sound system design. All right, so let me know if you have any questions about that and thanks for watching.